Hi, this is Mr. Vance Goy again. We are continuing our discussion on Essential Outcome 7, uh, STARS, uh, focusing on STARS. In this lesson, we're going to talk about STAR life. So when you are done with this lesson, you should be able to identify the different life stages of an average STAR and a massive STAR. There are some similarities, but also some differences. Um, so I'd like you, um, you folks to know those. Uh, keep in mind that we are going to kind of briefly go through these stages and talk about kind of the sequence of the stages. This, is, this lesson is not intended to go into great detail or depth about those stages. All right, we'll start off with the larger massive stars. So I've created this fancy diagram of science here to help you guys out. Keep in mind that I want you to know the sequence of these different stages. So please don't memorize things like letter A, letter F, and letter G, because um, rest assured, I've made different copies of, of our fancy diagram of science. Uh, so the letters will be mixed up. Okay, but let's start with larger stars. In both cases, we're going to start off with a stellar, stellar nebula. So a nebula being that cloud of gas and dust. So this is going to be the kind of beginnings of a star. It's going to coalesce and form a massive star here. Oh, I can see I've got a typo there. I'll have to change that. Um, our first stage would be letter F, a massive star. As that star ages, um, it'll shed some of its uh, layers off and become a super red giant. Super red giants then later in life become supernovas. Uh, after that, supernovas kind of have two pathways at their end of life um, after the explosion of a supernova we can have neutron stars and black holes both of which are pretty cool in their own right again um, that would have to be a different lesson though okay up next is the life of an average star again using our same diagram here we start off with the stellar nebula um, stellar neb nebulas form an if we have a smaller amount of uh, dust particles and so on um, we're going to have an average sized star later in its life will become a red giant um, after that it'll shed those outer layers and become a planetary nebula another nebula of dust and gas kind of what's left of that star can become planets and other stars or solar systems um, and then the final stages of an average star um, or a uh, white dwarf laughing here because noticing yet another typo as I kind of quickly went back in and updated my slides but I'll fix that in the slides all right here um, is that diagram if you want to use this for reference for um, kind of quizzing yourself or writing it down to have in your notes without the labels. I've also made a Quizlet set to help you study those different sequences, those different stages. Here's another di diagram, um, a little fancier than my own. Um, this is one I found online talking about stellar nebulas going to massive stars, um, red supergiants, those supernovae or supernova, neutron stars and black holes, that average star to red giant planetary nebula then ending in a white dwarf I also just for kicks kind of made in a concept map here um, there's a link to it in our slides um, again I might list some additional links talking about these different things um, or maybe even to make another lesson if time allows but um, kind of showing those same pathways okay again I use uh, bubble.us to create that concept map Okay, so that's going to um, conclude our lesson on the life stages of stars. Uh, if you have any questions about that, anything in the diagram that's diagrams that aren't clear. Again, I had some typos in the text, but the diagrams were fine. Um, and I'll fix that, update it, that in our notes. But as always, if you have questions, ask.